Hi, thanks for joining me today. I've got a quick problem from the Oxford University Maths Admissions Test from 2011. We want to know how many solutions does this equation here have? Sine to the 8x plus cos to the 6x equals 1, and x is somewhere between 0 and 2 pi. The answer is either 3, 4, 6, or 8, and if you want to have a go at this problem, pause the video now and give it a go for yourself. Let me dive into a solution. This equation here looks awfully similar to the Pythagorean identity sine squared x plus cos squared x is 1. And this is going to be our starting point here. I'm going to call this thing here a and cos squared x I'm going to call b. And then this equation here is simply a to the 4 plus b cubed equals 1. And now, of course, we know that a plus b equals 1 because of the identity. And of course, we know that a and b, well, they're sine squared and cos squared. So they're going to be between 0 and 1. And now here's the thing. When we raise a number to the power of 4 that's between 0 and 1, that's going to be less than a. Similarly, b cubed is going to be less than b, and therefore a to the 4 plus b cubed must be less than a plus b, which is 1. But that would suggest that this has no solutions, but the answers are 3, 4, 6, or 8, so surely it has at least 3 solutions. And the answer is yes, it does have at least 3 solutions, because what I've set up here is only true if a and b are, well, they're not 0 or 1. So the only way we could have these inequalities be broken is if a equals 1, in which case b would have to equal 0 because of this identity, or equally a equals 0 and then b equals 1. So these are two possible cases which we're going to examine. So if a equals 1, that means that sine squared x is 1, and that means that sine, square, sine of x sorry, is plus or minus 1. And now how many times does this happen in this range? Well, this happens twice. This is going to be when x is 0 and when x is, sorry, not when x is 0, when x is pi over 2 and x is 3 pi over 2. Now how about this other scenario when a is 0 and when b is 1? Well, a again is uh, sine of x. So if sine of x is 0, that means x is 0 and x is pi. And so b then will be 1 or minus 1 and in those scenarios. And so we have a total of four solutions to this equation, and the answer is B. I hope this solution has made sense, and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing, and if you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.